when I was in uh, fifth grade, my social studies teacher tapped me and said, you know what, Niger, is that all you're ever going to do is draw pictures? Because I was always drawing pictures in the columns of papers. Flash forward to me getting out of college and walking into school, getting a job, and my principal was that very same guy. And I said, hey, Tony, do you remember when I was in your class and you told me, hey, Niger, what are you going to do, draw pictures for the rest of your life? My name's Ronald Nigro. Uh, I go by Ron or Ronnie, whatever age group the people were that knew me. Um, I make uh, primarily mixed media sculptures. I was born and raised in the Pittsburgh area. I went to public schools. I went to Edinburgh State College before it became a university. I went to uh, the University of Pittsburgh. My degrees are in uh, art education. I ended up transferring from elementary teaching to high school and I was teaching crafts and art classes, different, a variety of classes. I was looking for different materials to work with with my students for jewelry class, but they weren't very enthused about my ideas of using electronic salvage. I was coming up with all these old computers. I started taking them apart and finding all these pretty little things that are inside that people never see. So the more I took apart, the more pieces I found Kids weren't interested, but I started playing around with it. And I basically built every, most of everything with like scraps. I'd get wood from the wood scraps in the shop and tear apart computers and look for different materials. And then I also started incorporating traditional things like stained glass and copper enameling and etching and trying to incorporate that in. But there was always this connection with the mechanical part. I kind of blame that on the fact that I grew up in an uh, environment that was very mechanical. My dad was a tailor, but he had a dry cleaning plant. And when I was a kid, we lived upstairs. Well, that was all about steam and pipes and machines, you know. And then later on, I got interested in cars and I worked with guys on auto body repair. So I learned a lot of skills that I could use with my artwork, which really kind of paid off afterwards. I always felt that the sculptures were a lot like me making a drawing because I would do my drawings from my imagination. And so it would be connecting one part to the next. Building the sculptures was much the same. I would be taking pieces of things that weren't related to each other and finding a way to make them go together to look like they belong together. So it was kind of melding different ideas without any real purpose other than just design. Nearly every time I would start working in a direction, I would work in a series. I would rarely ever make one of anything that was just that one thing. So in this case, I was creating containers. Some people call them urns. Now, this one wasn't finished on the inside. Sometimes I'd even line them. Uh, with material or, or something else, but I hadn't done that. And the whole thing is just made from scraps of wood that I got out of the wood shop. It starts to look like a, a ceramic or a metal finish to it. And it was just, it's just spray paint. So it's a lot of fun to work with. Some of the more interesting parts are these uh, hard drive discs. And these were probably from around the 1980s and there was a company that was making their discs and they were anodized in this coppery finish, which ended up, as I experimented with, a, a great surface for dry point etching. They just kind of grow. You know, it's like you, you, you take the bins of pieces and you look at them and say, well, that would fit there. You know, you make comparisons between the, what you have and what fits and you know, put it together. Thank <laughs> you.